Hello, humans of Earth. Today I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to output an ICC color profile that you can then use in Clip Studio Paint or Affinity Photo. These color profiles are useful for converting RGB files to CMYK for print. Let's get started, hey? All right, here we are in Photoshop. We want to go to Edit Color Settings, or you can press, press Shift-Command-K to bring that up. And then this is where I have my settings from Marvel Comics, for instance. I can change that to DC. If I want to go there, I can go DC that one. I'll show you DC for now. And then I can show you Marvel. So at the moment, I'm talking to DC and Marvel Comics about their color settings. And at, at the moment, in August, no, it's September 1st already, 2024, these are the color settings they're telling me to use. That might change. Some of their old settings from just, just before this were GCR instead of UCR, but I've been trading emails with them. But So we're going to take a look real quick. Uh, we're going to go to Custom CMYK, and that'll bring up this window. SWOP coded for both of them. Standard dot gain at 20%. UCR 100 black ink limit. 280 total ink limit. Marvel is all the same except for it's 300% instead of 280. So you would do that. I'm going to show you here's Marvel. Looks pretty much the same, like I said. We're going to take a look at it. Custom CMYK. Again, SWP coded, standard 20% dot gain, UCR 100% black ink, ink limit, total ink limit of 300%. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel because I already set that up. And then I named it like that. You can, if you're still using Photoshop, then you can go and save this and it'll bring you here and you save it there. And then it'll show up here as one of your options for one of the things that you can change to one of the color settings you can change to but those those are a csf file and not an icc profile to output the icc profile you need to go here and go save cmyk and this should bring you here it should bring you to macintosh, macintosh hd users your name not mine library color sync profiles and then you save it there with whatever name okay i've already saved this so i'm not going to save it again and that's it. If you put it in that folder, it'll be available to other programs. So let's go to Clip Studio Paint. And we have an, a, a Photoshop file. This was actually painted in Clip Studio, but this is a flattened version of it. This is for Captain America number 15 for Marvel Comics. Then you would go here to Color Profile, Preview Settings, and you'll see it right there. But that's not really what it's going to look like because Clip Studio Paint is not super accurate with this stuff. So generally I leave that while I'm painting as Adobe RGB. And then I do the color conversions in Affinity Photo. I'm still waiting to see print results. So at the moment I'm still doing about 90% of my color conversions in Photoshop until I verify that the printing works well, then I can, then I'll recommend it to you more. So stay tuned. So what I would do with this, I colored this file in Clip Studio Paint with all the layers. Then I flattened it and I saved it as a, a PSD. I just did command save and saved it as a PSD. Then open it in Affinity. And you can either go here, document, convert. And you go RGB CMYK8, and you'll see it. Where is it? Marvel. There we go. It's right there. Relative color colorimetric black point compensation is what you'd want to use because in Photoshop, that's what we have. Watch. Okay. Da, 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 da. Right there. See? Relative colorimetric. That's how we said it. Use black point. And we're going to match to that. Okay. So that's there. You can just convert it there and then it'll convert and you'll see the channels there and it'll be CMYK over here instead of RGB. But you still need to output it. And if you just save this, it saves as an affinity file, not a, not a TIFF. So you would go here and go export TIFF 
TIFF RGB, no. TIFF CMYK, yes. CMYK 8-bit. If you already converted it with that document conversion, you could just leave this to document profile. Otherwise, you can go here and go Marvel 2024 UCR. Embed ICC profile. You don't have to change this if you want. I use LZW compression. Then you go export, and I have that file there. I already saved it out. It will export it. And now let's compare to Photoshop. We have, uh, da, 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 da. let's go Captain America 15. Where's my PS? Yeah, the PS issue okay, page one. Okay. And then let's flatten it because it still shows layer one coming from there. And we're going to make sure that we have the Marvel settings. You do have the Marvel settings. So now we're going to convert it to CMYK. That's CMYK. It lose, loses a little bit of color there in the rainbow, but that's expected because those were some RGB colors. Yo. All right. There's the Marvel conversion. And let's check the Affinity version. The Marvel version? Did I say the Marvel version? That's the Photoshop version. I'm losing my mind. There's the Affinity conversion. Oops. Okay, and if we look at the total ink and the blacks, it's 300%. If you look over here, I have the info window. I should pull the info window in here so you can see. Huh? Let's put it there. If I look over here at the blacks on the Affinity, yep, it's 300. On the Marvel version, 300. Sky. Sky. It's doing it roughly the same color. It's, you know, if I pick this precise spot, the color's like 90% there or something. If I use Clip to export it, Let's say uh, export single layer TIFF. Oh wait, no. Yeah, it should. It should ask me what the, wait, I gotta do this first. Color profile. Let's go Marvel. Da -da -da. Export as single layer. Actually, it's gonna ask me now, I think. I'm going to go colors and just put a CSP test so you can see. And I'll just leave the name like that. Here we go there. Now, here's where the conversion is. That's right. All right. So embed ICC profile, this one right there it says, yeah. And if it doesn't show that, then you would go CMYK and you would, uh, where would you find it? I don't know. I load it first and then it'll be there. Okay, where's the LZW and all that stuff? Maybe it's on the next window. I don't use this for exporting because I tried it and it doesn't really work. Preset, custom. Okay. It's asking me and I go, yeah, yeah, looks good, looks good. Let's do it. Now let's go to Photoshop and open up Clip Studio Paint version. Um, It's a bit grayer, huh? That should be in CMYK as well. So let's see. CMYK. CMYK. This is the Affinity one. This is the Clip Studio one. Look at these colors here. Look how much more intense and bright. Like, not bright, but saturated it is. Uh, Clip Studio, even using that ICC color profile, will will shift the colors. And it doesn't quite... It's not quite up to snuff. If we take... The, this one, let's see if it converts. We'll drop it into there. I dropped it into the, this is the PS version. Let's compare and then we'll drop this one. Yeah, see, watch the layers here. We'll say this one's CSP. This one's AFF. This one's PSD. Okay, so Let's go full screen and watch Clip Studio Affinity. You see, look at Spider-Man. Look at Cap. 
Captain America. Look at Thor's cape. Look at the reds. Clip Studio makes everything a bit browner, more muted. Now let's compare Affinity to Photoshop. This is Affinity. This is Photoshop. Affinity. Photoshop. Affinity. Photoshop. Affinity. Photoshop. Affinity. Photoshop. Do you see any difference? If you do, your eyes are better than mine. If we pick out colors on here, we might find that they're ever so slightly different. Just like 1% extra cyan in the blue or something something really tiny when i've tested it before it's been like that so there you have it if you use that icc color profile you'll get your total blacks in your ink mix up to 100 percent in clip studio paint if you use some of the generic cmyk profiles you're very likely going to get 90 percent black in your in your k channel instead of 100 percent, which to me is unacceptable Outputting from Clip Studio Paint will result in muddier colors that look a little muted and shifted. Some of your yellows might look a little more green. Some of your oranges and reds might look a little more brown. I'm not saying this is definitely going to happen, but it, for me, it's happened every time I've tested it. I haven't tested, I haven't had any uh, Clip Studio files in print yet, though. I have been still converting about 90% of my pages in Photoshop. So I color in Clip Studio Paint and then take them into Photoshop, convert to CMYK and send those to Marvel and DC. But I'm sneaking in a couple pages every issue that are output from Affinity instead of Photoshop so that I can test that and see if it works. I'm going to have the first print results probably sometime this month, which is September 2024. So uh, please wait on results and check back here on YouTube and I'll post a, another video that I'll I'll check those files and we'll see what happened like if it worked out okay let me take the risk instead of you and then I'll report back what do you say sound like a good idea meanwhile I hope this video was helpful for some of you hope this <laughs> I do that every time I hope this video was helpful for some of you out there and that it helps you make your art look in print like you want it to and that's it for this time around I'll see you next time goodbye from Croatia